Here's a few things you didn't know about American atolls. Most famous Ritchie's during World War II, Wake Atoll is an atoll in the Pacific near the Marshall Islands. In the 1930s, PAA Ville was set up. This was a permanent village on Wake Island for flights from the U.S. to China. This operation was working until the Japanese attacks. The island quickly became important to the American military. The Japanese took over the island but were bombed by the American Air Force until they surrendered. The atoll remains U.S. territory and today it is used by the military as well as many scientists. Johnson Atoll is an atoll that has been used by the U.S. Army for many reasons. From bio to chemical to nuclear weapons, Johnson has seen it all. Although it is only about one square mile, it once held 6% of America's chemical weapons. This atoll was later used for nuclear testing, which contaminated it with plutonium. After that, it was used as an anti-satellite facility. Eventually, a bioweapons were tested on the atoll. During the Vietnam War, Agent Orange was stored and spilled on the atoll. Most recently, it was home to a chemical weapons incinerator that disposed of mustard gas and other chemicals before it was advertised for sale for a brief time and finally abandoned. In 1856, the Guano Island Acts were passed. These acts led to the mining of guano, seabird experiment, on many islands across the globe. The guano was so valuable because it could be used in fertilizer and gunpowder that any land found to contain it, as long as it was not part of another nation, could become a territory of the United States. The acts even gave the president the power to use the military to protect the Guano Islands. Jarvis Island, Johnston Atoll, Midway Island Atoll, and many more were all made Guano Islands. Jarvis Island, one of the Guano Islands, which is only one and three quarter square miles, has its own cemetery. Although it sounds like something out of a scary movie, it's true. The Barren Island was home to one man who eventually killed himself. He is one of the four people buried in the cemetery. Jarvis Island is now a National Wildlife Refuge area. As you can see, these little islands played a big role in American history. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe.